What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're back with another A to Z of Ark for you guys today and today guys we are taking a look at none other than the Megalosaurus. Now guys, the Megalosaurus is found on the island, the center, Scorched Earth, Ragnarok, Extinction and the Crystal Isles as well as a variant on Aberration which is the Aberrant Megalosaurus. Now, majority of the time, these guys will be found exclusively in caves. So on the island, the center, Scorched Earth, and the Crystal Isles, these guys will be found in caves. However, on Ragnarok, you can find them wandering around, as well as on Extinction, you can just find them wandering around out in the open. Now, as for the Aberrant Megalosaurus, those guys are dotted all over Aberration. And if you are playing on Aberration, these are one of the best tames that you can get on Aberration. Now, as you can see, they're currently asleep because it is daytime. So, these guys will rack up a sleep debt if you use them during the day. They're also extremely sluggish and slow, and they deal reduced damage during the day. However, this makes taming one super easy and very basic to tame. So you can see here we have a wild Megalosaurus here. Now if you do want to get one of these guys, go into a cave during the day and you'll easily be able to find them. What you need to do then is simply trank it and just walk backwards. Because they, oh, because they receive a debuff during the day, I don't know why this, this trike is probably going to kill it to be honest. Because they receive a debuff during the day, they're slower and, oh god, they're slower and weaker. So it makes taming them uh, very easy. As well as that, they utilize a lot more stamina during the day. So you can actually increase, you can actually decrease the amount of food they need by just getting them to run after you and that's it. Because they utilize stamina to just even walk around, it drains their stamina, which then depletes their food bar, making taming them a lot easier. So all you need to do is simply walk backwards. We have zero levels in our movement speed and we're able to outrun this guy. Makes taming them up during the day a piece of cake. Make sure you do it during the day though, because if you do do it during night time, you'll probably die because they have the ability to grab you. And that's that's never a fun time. Now, in order to tame these guys up, you will need superior kibble. If you don't have access to superior kibble, your next best bet would be raw mutton and then raw prime meat. Uh, so once you've got them tamed up, as you can see over here, we've got two ready to go. You then need to craft their saddle. Now their saddle is learned at level 57. You need 170 fiber, 320 hide and 30 metal ingots. But it is well worth it because these guys are one of the strongest creatures pretty much on any map to be honest. You just have to fight during the night time to do it. They will easily rival Rex's, Spinos, you name it. They'll be easily be able to deal with those. So get the saddle on your Megalosauruses, wake it up. Well, I mean, you will know. You can see there is the sleep debt. So the longer it's awake, the more sleep debt it will accumulate, and it will need to sleep that off before you can actually use it during the nighttime. But you can see here, it's extremely sluggish and slow, so we're not going to really use it during the daytime, which kind of sucks. However, the perks of doing it on Aberration is that it's always nighttime there, which is why these guys are so strong on Aberration. Because it's always nighttime, they never have to sleep, they always deal the most amount of damage, and it's why you'll always see people using them for the Rockwell boss fights, just because they deal so much damage and it's always nighttime there. Now, you can see here we're hitting for 81 damage. If we set the time to nighttime here, which is exactly what we're gonna do, and we're also gonna gamma up here a second. There we go. You can see there that will be hitting a lot harder now. Now, do take note, if you actually knock out your Megalosaurus that you want to tame and don't actually tame it, it will wake up. However, you can go ahead and knock it out again and it will still keep the drained food and everything like that. So that's something to, to keep in mind about because it can result in you losing your Megalosaurus tame. So generally, you want to try and tame them at the beginning of the morning, so like at the 7 o'clock mark. Um, and then if you do try and tame them before nighttime, I would recommend doing that. And they're generally pretty easy to tame based on your settings. So keep that in mind. But you can see here from dealing 81 damage to 306 damage, it's a big difference. Mind you, we're also not even imprinted and we're also not even mate boosted. Now that we're mate boosted, we'll deal even more damage. Look at that, 407 damage per tick. Easily, easily can out damage Rexes. Now they have pretty decent HP as well. Like I mentioned, easily able to rival Rexes. You can see here, 5,945 health, 325 melee damage. We've actually got a pretty solid Megalosaurus here from uh, getting a, a base tame in. 
So they're definitely worth uh, worth taming up. Now you can see here it is saying it's sleep deprived. So what we're going to do is we're going to get it to go to sleep here. Because we want to get rid of that sleep debt. Otherwise it will slowly start to accumulate torpor and eventually knock itself out if you do not complete that sleep debt. But generally it drains pretty quickly so you don't really have too much to worry about. You can see there it's draining at about 15 per 3 seconds, 5 seconds or so. Yeah. So once that sleep debt is fully drained, jump back on it and you can destroy it everything now these guys also have the ability to pick up we're still saying sleep deprived why are you still sleep deprived you shouldn't be sleep deprived and i'm not sure you also have the ability to pick up flyers players and other small teams you can see here we've got a pelagornis in our mouth and we can damage it and kill it just like that okay something's going on with this guy we're going to jump over here to the other one hopefully this one won't be sleep deprived i don't know why it's saying that one is let's let's get it to stay asleep here for a second we'll put the saddle back on this one so like i was saying you can also pick up other creatures and teams and players and stuff like that and maul them however one thing i would keep in mind is that it does not work if you are not riding the megalosaurus the megalosauruses will utilize that secondary attack while actually in general combat which is really shit and it's something that the devs should have patched in a long time ago. Because it does no damage. It does like 3 damage. You can see there. So it really just depletes the value of the Megalosauruses. And sometimes, majority of the time, this will happen in the uh, in Rockwell fight. So you'll have a bunch of Megalosauruses and they'll be doing no damage because they're using that stupid secondary attack. Which is so dumb. So make sure you've got other players riding around with you if you do want to utilize that attack. But you can easily go toe to toe with literally anything on the arcs. Only thing I probably wouldn't recommend going uh, head to head with is a, uh, a Giga. But you can see here we're able to pick up Parasaurs, carry them in our mouth and just gnaw them to death. You can do this while moving. It's super effective. It's super great. It's also really effective for PvP because you're obviously going to be able to pull players off their mounts. You're going to be able to ground flyers and all that sort of stuff. So I'd heavily recommend using this ability if you do plan on fighting anything. Just be wary of it on Aberration or at night time because they can use it on you and majority of the time they will kill you. Only time they will drop you is if they die. So once you get grabbed by a Megalosaurus, if you don't have the capacity to kill it, you're probably going to die. Now I'll also put up a list of all the creatures that the Megalosaurus can carry on the screen for you right now. And you can see that you're able to grab Argies, Lamantrias, Pelagornises, Tappies, Pteranodons, Iguanodons, Scorpions. So, you know, you can definitely gar carry a lot of stuff with the Megalosaurus. But like I mentioned, be wary of that secondary attack because if you don't have players riding on it, they will utilize it while no one is riding on it. And it's really shit because it only does like three damage or something like that. And it's just, it really turns the tables on them. It makes them kind of useless if that happens. So make sure that you've got players riding on it or just bring a couple. To even, just like bring two. I normally bring two when I go and gather rock drake eggs on aberration because these guys just absolutely destroy rock drakes. Um, and with the mate boosted, you deal like an extra 100 damage. So they're really good for that, but the, the secondary one is kind of useless. It's just there to provide a mate boost. Occasionally it will use its primary attack, but other than that, there's no other way for it to stop it using its secondary attack, which is it's dumb. You should be able to disable that. So, yeah, but I would recommend using these guys for Rock Drake Egg Gathering because, yeah, they can kill Rock Drakes very quickly, very easily. They have a ton of health. They've got a ton of melee damage. Definitely recommend breeding these guys up. If you do breed the Megalosauruses, make sure that you hatch the eggs at nighttime, however, because otherwise the baby's food will drop a lot quicker during the day. So it's better to get it established during the nighttime than it is to hatch it during the day. So I'd recommend just making sure you hatch them at nighttime, making sure you have plenty of food on you because their food will deplete very quickly. Also, force it to stay awake during the day. It will go unconscious, but it'll make it easier to manage its food uh, utilization as well. So keep that in mind if you are going to be breeding the Megalosauruses. Oh, if you're breeding on Aberration, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff that I just said because it's always nighttime over there. Now, you can also use the Megalosaurus as a taming assistant to help you knock out other creatures. Uh, you will need two people for this, however, because the moment you jump off your Megalosaurus, it will munch whatever is in its mouth to death. But all you need to do is simply uh, grab the dinosaur in your Megalosaurus's mouth and just have another player trank it out. It's that simple. You can do that with any of the creatures that it's able to carry, making taming them super easy and super quick. So keep that in mind. You will need two players for that, though, so you will need a tribe member to uh, help you out with that. 
But guys, that is pretty much everything there is to know about the Megalosaurus. These guys are amazing, and I would heavily recommend getting some, especially if you're playing on Aberration, because they are my go-to mount, and they just deal so much damage. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this one today. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.